Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. Some of the pub's garden furniture was getting a little tatty, so I thought I'd knock up a quick table. Some pallets have these nice thick bits to them, and I saved them thinking I'd use them on a project, so this seemed like the perfect one. These are going to be the legs for the table, so after planing them down, I cut them all to the same length, and then I can start joining them together. My plan was to join two together in an L shape. At first I thought I'd laminate a few together and make square legs, but I didn't have enough material for that, so I thought an L shape will probably give the maximum support out of the material I've got. So they get glued together and then a few brad nails shot in to hold it all in place while the glue dries. While the glue dries, I cut down some stretchers to the right size. These ones are going to be for the width of the table, so they're about two foot, which is just enough room to get a couple of good sized plates on the table. They get glued in between the two legs, and then get some clamps on to hold them in place while it dries. When I have both ends glued up, then I can look at doing the sides. So again, I've cut down some stretchers, and these ones are around the four foot mark. And basically it's the same principle, just get some glue and they fit inside the legs. I'm not saying this is the best design, but we had a garden bench break and it needed replacing for a busy weekend. So this is one of those projects that the materials you have on hand determine the design of it. Well, the materials on hand and how much time I have to spend on it. Okay, the materials I have, the time and also the money. Let's just say there's a lot of factors. Whilst I was gluing up, I checked everything was square before I got all the clamps on. Then when it was dry, I came back with my dowel jointer and drilled through all the joints to reinforce them. The doweling machine works well on things like this, because you've already got the joint sorted out so you don't have to be too precise, really you're just using it to drill some holes. Pub furniture gets a hard life, especially garden benches. They get dragged around all the time, so these dowels should uh, strengthen the joint nicely and it should at least get us through summer. While I waited for the glue to dry, I started cutting down the slats. So this is obviously just some more pallet wood. I set up a stop block and make all the cuts. I'm cutting them slightly wider than the table so they hang over both sides. When the glue's dried in the dowels, I can use my flush cut saw to trim them to length. And then before I start attaching the top, I give it a sand just so it's easier to get to everything. So the slats go on, and I'm using this scrap of 6mm uh, plywood as a spacer between them. Having the space will allow for expansion and contraction. It will also make my wood go further and water can drain through it. Again, to keep the cost down, speed it up and use materials I already had, I'm nailing the slats on. These are some galvanised ring shank nails I had left over from the shepherd's hut build. I probably would have preferred to use screws. As I say, they get a hard life these benches and people will be picking them up by the top so it put a lot of stress on the nails. But it should get us through summer. Well, I say get us through summer. I made this about a month ago, so it's held up very well so far. No damage at all. Installing the slats, I decided to work my way in from either end and then cut the middle one to fit. And with that in, I can give it all a sand down. Again, trying to use materials I had on hand, I had some decking oil left over from, well, doing some decking surprisingly enough. So that's what I used to give it a coat. It's pretty hard wearing stuff, so it should work well for this application. And that's it all done. I think it goes really well with the bench I made a few weeks ago out of 2x3s. And I just got it done in time for the heat wave. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.